developed over most of the course of Major League Baseball history. Steroid testing was not a major issue. In 1991, Commissioner Favenson sent a memo to all teams stating that steroid use was against the rules, though there was no official rule change. Vincent has said that the memo was intended as a moral statement to the players, rather than a legal one, that the only way a change could be made was through collective bargaining, and when I left baseball, there was no written policy on drug activity in baseball. The 1991 memo did not ban the use of steroids. Steroids were first banned from use in MLB in 2005, with HGH banned from use in 2011. Faye Vincent is actually on record stating that Congress has a list of illegal substances that include steroids that one must obtain via prescription. He is on record of saying that he in no way banned steroids from MLB, but merely passed along the information that Congress considered the substances illegal without a prescription. After the Ball Colorado scandal, which involved allegations that top baseball players had used illegal performance-enhancing drugs, Major League Baseball banned steroids. The policy, which was accepted by Major League Baseball players and owners, was issued at the start of the 2005 season and went as follows. The first positive test resulted in a suspension of 10 games. The second positive test resulted in a suspension of 30 games. The third positive test resulted in a suspension of 60 games. The fourth positive test resulted in a suspension of one full year. And the fifth positive test resulted in a penalty at the commissioner's discretion. Players were tested at least once per year, with the chance that several players could be tested many times. This program replaced the previous steroid testing program under which no player was suspended in 2004. Under the old policy, which was established in 2002, the first-time offense would result in treatment for the player and the player would not be named. In November 2005, MLB owners and players approved even tougher penalties for positive tests. Under the new rules, the first positive test would result in a 50-game suspension, the second positive test would result in a 100-game suspension, and the third positive test would result in a lifetime suspension from MLB. On March 28, 2014, the players and owners announced that the penalties for a positive test would be increased to an 80-game suspension for the first offense, then escalate to a 162-game suspension for the second offense, and a lifetime ban from the sport for the third. Players suspended for the season will not be allowed to participate in postseason games. Suspensions do not allow the player to be paid while suspended. This steroid policy brings MLB closer to international rules.